Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, as always. I appreciate each and every one of you guys um, as we go on our journey with uh, trying to get back into shape. Um, I have been terrible at taking care of myself. I literally have just been eating myself away. Or no, I should say, not eating myself away. Mm, that's not the right term. Um, eating and gaining all over the place. And I'm getting back on doing keto again. And this is kind of like my keto log, so to speak. Um, we've been doing this for about two weeks. We were up to about 275. And um, I am um, trying to do better. Um, been doing some different recipes. You've seen some of the stuff that we've been doing. Last night I was working here on the house. Um, kind of late, actually. I was going to make crab cakes last night for dinner, but it was about 9.30 when I realized it's 9.30 and I didn't feel like uh, making too much of a mess. And so I um, realized I still had two hamburgers left from the night before. So I cooked, uh, excuse me, I warmed those up and I ate two hamburgers last night and that was very, very filling, that and the salad. Oops. Okay. There we go. That and the salad. And that was actually very, very good last night. Although, you don't want to be eating that late. So, that's the mistake that I made. So, part of the problem of doing keto for me is when I'm not home. When I'm not home, it's harder to keep up. I tried to do as best I could when I was up in Pennsylvania for like five days. I did put on like two more pounds back. So I came back at like 270 and so. But it seems like I've gotten back into the groove because now I've dropped about, you know, about two pounds since I got back from Pennsylvania um, working on this. Things I will note. Things I will note. Um, I don't know that I'm in ketosis. I don't think that I am because of all the stuff that I did in uh, Pennsylvania. Um, but I will say that probably getting rid of the sugar and the carbs have definitely helped um, to kind of, I don't feel quite as bloated. Um, I feel like I'm moving a little bit better. Um, some of the pains that I've been having, I don't seem to have right now, which is definitely good. Uh, I don't feel quite as winded as, as easily, easy, I guess I should say. Um, so I feel better. I will say that much. And I don't feel, I still, my problem is, is everything I have is all right here, this visceral um, fat. If I just, I guess if I got liposuction or something, it wouldn't be so bad because I don't have a lot of fat that's, you know, my arms or my legs and stuff, it's all sits in the middle, which is the worst place to have it. Um, I do know that this works for me uh, doing this. Um, a lot of people will say, you know, going to keto is bad. Um, and there are, I, it doesn't matter what kind of diets you do. And in reality, almost everything you do, you know, they say eat fish. Well, here's the problem. You eat too much fish, it's got mercury in it. They say, you know, grill your food as opposed to frying. Well, too much charbroil it creates, you know, um, cancerous char on your, your food. Okay, so you got that. Um, you know, you got your nonstick plate pans and stuff. So that way you're not using all the oil. Well, guess what? That's got forever chemicals on it. Um, you, they say eat more vegetables. Well, some of those, of course, have toxins on them and everything else. And, um because they've gotten shit that's been poured out on the fields and things. And some of them are genetically modified. So that way, the poisons that they put in the field don't kill the plants. They just kill you. Hell, drinking water, um, because of all the prescriptions that are out there, um, don't get filtered out in the water system. So you're getting birth control pills. You're getting, of course, uh, you know, um, blood pressure meds and stuff and just the water. So the reality is, is 
everything that you're trying to do to help you live has got some dangers with it. Um, and I'm not suggesting to anybody that doing keto is the thing. I'm just giving you what I'm doing and giving you the results for you to make that decision between you and your doctor. Um, but there's different ways of doing it. Some people say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go to Burger King and I'm going to get me a double baked cheeseburger and uh, just not eat the bread. And if you do that every day, yeah, that's bad for you. If you're saying, I'm just going to have a bacon diet because it's full of protein and fat, that'll kill you. But in moderation, of course, with your vegetables and your micros and all that stuff, um, I think it works. It works for me. It's the only thing that I've done that's helped me lose weight. And it's not like it's a dramatic, boom, I've lost 20 pounds. It's a steady about two or three pounds a week, which is the way you really want to. And if I were to stick to this as opposed to football season where I just lose my mind and go back to my uh, you know, candy bars and my drumsticks and my sodas, then yeah, it's not keto's fault. It's my fault for going back to those ways. What I need to try and do is, and I can't say that there's any, uh, that, that, that there's not a benefit of just getting rid of sodas and sugar, is moderation when the season comes in. So I don't have that big swing because basically I have a range of 275 to about 250. I do keto, I get back down to 250, and it's not like an instant gain. It is a steady climb right back up in there. So that's what I have to say about what we're doing. Um, I've got a lot of work that I'll be doing over the next couple of days. That's going to be outdoors, so I'll probably be doing a lot of sweating. I've been drinking, trying to drink more water, just straight up water. I love essential water. Um, not cheap, but I'll put, and I drink it kind of warm, so I'll put a couple of these in my car this morning. So while I'm working on this porch um, deck uh, or landing and steps, that I'll drink plenty of water so I'll be out in the sun and things. So there you have it. Coffee's almost ready. And then I'll go do my morning video. And then I'll get to work. Um, I'm debating on what to cook today. I did get the crab meat yesterday. And I've been talking about making some Jamaican soup. And so originally I was going to do like a jerk chicken soup, but I'm thinking that maybe, because I've got this pumpkin squash over here, uh, acorn squash, which is one of the ingredients. I can't use all of the ingredients like yams and potatoes um, for it because they're full of carbs. But I was thinking about doing a Jamaican spiced crab and shrimp soup. Um, the nice thing about Jamaican soups, they're spicy with that, that bonnet pepper in it. Um, the pumpkin gives it a nice texture and things with it. And you got the coconut milk and you got the lime. You got the rosemary and the thyme. That might be a really good soup uh, to have today. Yeah, soup. Yeah, there you go. And I tell you... For me, here's the other thing. If it worked for my damn coffee, my uh, keto coffee in the morning, basically I'd be fasting every day because I drink coffee and then I don't eat till I come back from working, which is usually like three or four or so. But I love my coffee. Oh, I love my coffee. My, uh, I put keto bomb on it, put a little bit of cream, the heavy cream on it, and then some cinnamon. And you talk about good. This is fantastic. All right, good people. Leave in the comments if you're doing keto, uh, your thoughts on what I'm doing with it, um, how bad it is, or how, uh, how much you like it or don't like it. Some tips. I'm always open to get more tips. Have a great one. Peace.